We ask a group of girls, what is the best flirting technique that somebody's personally used on you? Story 1. I started dating the university's lone wolf and was extremely surprised to find how incorrigible and flirty he was. But he didn't speak my native language. He was not from my state and my parents would have not approved of our relationship. When I told him I didn't want to lead him on, he said he would try our best and if it didn't work out, he would take full responsibility for his broken heart. And, and that I need to feel not pressured at all. The feeling of liberation I felt cinched the deal for me. Looking back, I'm strangely touched by how he is an introvert and had allowed himself to be openly vulnerable in front of me. After seven years of a solid relationship, which included three years of wearing my parents down to accept him, we got married just a couple months ago. Story 2. We were classmates in college and one morning, I called him on my way to school. I lived over an hour away and we usually called and chatted while I drove and complained about a headache. When I got to school, he was there with ibuprofen, water, and one of those yogurt parfait thingies. I also made a comment once about my eyeliner running out and he bought one to school the next day. Found out from his brother after we started dating that he had spent like an hour at the store asking the makeup employees for the right one since he had no idea what an eyeliner pen was. We've been married for four years now and he's still a total sweetheart. Edit. Holy crap, my inbox has exploded. Thank you everybody for the comments and stuff. I'm reading them with my husband now. But to clarify to those saying that this could be creepy behavior. It definitely could be in a different situation. I don't recommend doing this with someone you don't have a good base with. If you like to do nice things for people, don't make it seem like you expect anything in return. We already had a pretty solid friendship and he was and still is honestly the best friend I've ever had. He's never made any advances on me or put in any pressure of our relationship. I used to wonder if he was just nice or if he actually liked me. That's how good he was at being chill. I ended up confessing my feelings to him just a few months later. I come from an abusive family, so having him be there for me, listen to me, and respect my boundaries was mind-blowing. He's been a great partner, and I'm very thankful for people like him. Story 3. I don't know if it's the best, but it's definitely the most memorable. I was at the gym, and have been honestly taking things to an extreme for a while and not listening to my body. I suddenly got very dizzy and my sight became white. On the realization that I was about to pass out, I slowly lowered myself down to the floor. One of the guys working came out and swooped in to grab me up from his workout and prevented my head from hitting the floor. He laid me down and tried to get me to remain conscious, asking me all sorts of questions that required some sort of concentration, like what day of the week it was, who's the president, when he saw that I was okay and recovering, his questions started getting flirty. What's my name? What's my number? Now that he's become my knight in shining armor, can he take me out on a date sometime? It really made me laugh, and I feel better just by him being so lighthearted about it. Yeah, he got my number. Story 4. Years and years ago, I worked at a florist where the owner illegally hired mostly Mexican girls in the States to learn English. They went to school but worked for a rate that wasn't even minimum wage. It was super shady, but I loved working with him. We would make up a little game to teach me Spanish and them English. Anyways, this Latin guy comes in one day and one of the girls is helping him. He wants to get a bouquet for a girl he likes, so... She takes him around the store, showing him what she thinks are the best flowers. She wraps it all up for him, and right as he pays, he writes his number on the paper and hands them to her. I was absolutely floored. It was so smooth. She was completely unfazed. Like, oh, that's how men are like here? Where I'm from, men don't do that. I was like, uh, nope. <laughs> Story 5. The third time we hung out, I went to his house. We were both in grad school and were talking in his room, but 
I was exhausted from schooling and my two jobs. I was sitting on his bed and I simply fell asleep. When I woke up, he had put a blanket on me and was playing beautifully on the piano. I was so embarrassed because I've drooled all over his pillow and surprised that he was so kind about the drool and not creepy about me being passed out on his bed. Well, we've been married for about four years now and together for eight. Bonus fun fact. His brother did not believe I existed and accused him of making it up till I met him a year later. I was his first real girlfriend at age 25. Story 6. I'm not a girl, but my girlfriend is, and she just did one of the smoothest things on me during our first get-together over some drinks. We were both unsure whether or not it was a date or just people chilling at a bar getting to know each other. She just moved into town and was looking for some company and, well, I liked her attitude. Over the course of this evening, it became clear that we were at least a bit interested, but she was already getting drunk. Being the gentleman I am, I decided not to try anything. However, then she starts rubbing my foot, asking whether I like her feet. And I was like, yes, can I have one? So she literally gave me one of her shoes and said, I'll pick that one up later this week at your place. Then she got up and left. She's currently giggling next to me as we just woke up. Wonderful lady. Story 7. A man walked up to me on the street while I was standing alone and said, quote, Hey, I just saw you from across the way and I wanted to come over and say hello. I was blown away by your style and you seem really interesting. I'd love to get to know you. If you're here for the farmer's market, can I walk for you with a bit? Something about his tone and the way he said it was so darn polite and earnest, I was truly flattered and taken aback. I would have said yes if I wasn't waiting for my boyfriend to, to go to the farmer's market with me, LOL. The guy took it like a champ and was very gracious and wished me a good day. I sort of wonder if he does that a lot and what his success rate is because it was very bold. He's literally the only person who's ever asked me out to my face. All my boyfriends and dates have asked me out in some form of text message. And I think the art of asking someone out in their face in a polite, friendly way is, well, getting lost. Story 8. A friend of mine in college was 6 foot tall, where I'm 5 foot 2. I forget if he asked me to meet him in the library for help or if we ran into each other there, but he said he couldn't figure out one of the computer search systems. Keep in mind, this was circa 1997, so they were still pretty clunky. I agreed to show him how to use it, and as he took a seat in front of a computer, he casually said, You know, if we were dating and I wanted to kiss you, I could just sit down and I'd be the perfect height. Because, well, I was stupidly fixated on a mutual friend of ours at the time, I didn't go for it. My reply was that this was the wrong set of computers, and the computers he needed were over there. Which was true, and we went to those computers, I helped him out, and we were never awkward after that. I've thought about this a lot over the years. He kept it very casual, so it wasn't a big deal, and it didn't feel like he was putting me on the spot. The way he worded it, I didn't actually have to reject him outright. I was able to just talk past it. To this day, I appreciate that it was smooth, but not uncomfortable. Of any of the flirting I've been on the receiving end of, that was my favorite. And I wish I would have given him a shot. Story 9. I was dating a friend of mine I met in high school when he invited me out for a LARPing session in our local park. I say yes and get ready to go. He comes over and says he's brought a friend he met at our local library playing games on the computer. We introduce ourselves and immediately we talk as if we've known each other for years. Needless to say, we connected pretty fast. Time skip a bit and the three of us are hanging out in my bedroom. Boyfriend says it's very clear our relationship is going nowhere and says, quote, You two obviously have more in common than we do. I think you two should hook up. And that's how we ended up dating for almost two and a half years now. The three of us are still good friends. Story 10. 
On our first date, which was also the first time we've met in person, he walked into the bar and greeted me with a courtesy when he saw me. I asked him about it later, and he said he had no idea what was going through his mind, and when he did it, immediately thought to himself, Why the duck did I just do that? He's currently in our kitchen washing up, singing along to Queens of the Stone Age, and we're both extremely happy. He still sometimes greets me with a courtesy, too. Story 11. I'd gotten out of a toxic relationship and was out with a friend. Met their friend who was on a date with another girl and we were talking a lot. Met again a month later through another mutual at the youth center by pure chance. This point, he ditched his cousin to come talk to me, but I was pursuing another guy who was with us. That guy saw our chemistry and put our number in each other's phone. We talked for hours over the phone and Skype. I found him genuinely nice and funny, and he wanted to know everything about me. Our first date was him taking my younger sister and I to a movie we wanted to see. And now, we're engaged. Story 12. Got me a job as his boss. He was also just very kind and attentive. Let me be me. I'd been in a horrible relationship for six years where he just constantly cheated on me and made me feel like I was completely worthless, needless, and, well, needed medication, etc. My current partner just saw me and just made an effort to make me feel safe and wanted. Took an interesting in my interest and, well, was always a gentleman. With a really kind nature, very supportive, pretty simple stuff, really. Sometimes simplicity is the best. Our friendship developed more after we started working together, and it just kind of happened, as they say. It helped that we clicked and had a lot in common. We just had our first child together. A week before our fifth year anniversary and finished building a house the year before. We aren't huge on the whole marriage thing, mainly because of cost. Story 13. I remember when I was a cashier. Some pretty attractive guy came into the store on rollerblades asking to return something. The interaction was pretty short, but it was pretty obvious. Strong eye contact was the first thing. He asked me one or two questions trying to get to know more about me, and I wasn't really interested because I was with someone, so I just indulged the questions to be polite. As I completed the form to let him return his item, the last thing required was his phone number. Then, teasingly, Quote, the store doesn't really need that. You're asking because you want my number, don't you? I chuckled and showed him the line for his phone number, and he signed his number and said, Well, hopefully you'll call me anyways. And he rolled out of the store. Yes, often it's annoying when people flirt with the cashiers or wait staff of any customer-facing position, but that's because you're not giving them a choice. They have to be nice to you. This guy's approach wasn't awkward, he was just happy, all smiles. He expressed interest but did not put pressure or linger. The suggestion was there that he was interested with the flirty eye contact, but the way everything was phrased left me with options to say yes or no. Or even just ignore, which is exactly what I did. I suppose it's a little hard to break down the components that made it good flirting, but I'll try. Eye contact looked me directly in the eyes, but not for an amount of time that was creepy. It didn't feel like a staring contest or like he was checking out my body. He was smiling the whole time. He was a very happy person from the looks of it, so the interaction was already easier. He seemed friendly in his posture and facial expression, and oh boy, his confidence. Talking was no big deal. Just a happy person returning an item and leaving on their merry way, and verbal confirmation that he was flirting. Eye contact alone isn't always going to be a great judge. Sometimes you just assume that friendly people are friendly. He wasn't subtle or overt, and the attitude was just like, yeah, flirting in a bit. He was flirting with someone age-appropriate, and what he said wasn't overly sexual or desperate at all. That's the smoothest example of flirting I've had without already being in a relationship with somebody. Story 14. We were 17 from the same high school and have been flirting over text messages for a while. 
To be honest, I didn't know if I wanted to date him, but he was really sweet all the time and I liked his attention. Anyways, he asked me on a date to go ice skating. He was so hopeful, I just couldn't say no. We had previously talked about romantic movie scenarios and I foolishly told him that I would kiss him if it starts snowing that night of the ice skating. Knowing darn well the chance of snow at the time was highly unlikely, the weatherman said less than 1%. Fast forward to me and him skating a few days later. Without a cloud in the night sky, he stopped me at the side of the ice field under the light of an old school gas lamp and reached in his pocket. And he throws up white paper confetti like we just won the Super Bowl. Cutest thing ever kissed him gladly, and we ended up dating for a few years. He had sat the day before and made confetti out of printer paper because he knew it wasn't going to snow, and that was the most romantic movie scenario of my life. Story 15. Helping me move. Laugh out loud. I met this guy through friends and I was moving locally a few days later. He had a truck, offered his helping hand. I mean, I declined it because it just seemed uncool to ask a virtual stranger to do something like that. Day of moving and movers show up, but one is clearly very sick, and I ended up telling him to go home midway through because he looked like he was going to pass out. I got Guy's number from friend and called and said, I know it's last minute, but if you're still available, help. Well, he came over right away. Saw me in my moving day, no makeup look, and helped with the remaining move and asked to have pizza with me. Well, I dated him for two and a half years. Moral of the story being, he was just a really sweet guy who didn't expect anything from helping me out.